I'm Sam Otten, and with me is Jason Book, and in this video we're going to be covering Batman issue 42, uh, written by Scott Snyder, art by Greg Capullo, so they're continuing their strong Batman run. We are now two issues into the era of Jim Gordon taking up the robot bat suit. So in this one we saw another kind of villain of the week, this time it was a person who, could, who was like mob related, but now he has this power to be able to control rock and concrete and like, you know, billow them up and use them against Batman. Uh, we also, spoiler, possibly see Bruce Wayne reappearing, this time in the face. We can see his face and he's grown a beard and stuff at the end of the issue. So some stuff's moving forward. Uh, Jason, what'd you make of this issue overall? I thought it was really entertaining. Um, it kind of had like a monster of the week feel. Um, I don't know, it almost reminds me of like a Batman take on like kind of like, you know, the Godzilla fighting robots and things like that. And um, I like what they're doing with it. I feel that the Bruce Wayne thing possibly at the end may overshadow what they're doing, but it's got potential and I hope that that just doesn't kind of take over the whole story. Yeah, so when Bruce Wayne made kind of the, you know, possible appearance at the end of the last issue, we both said that this seems pretty early to bring him back because it was such an epic de demise at the end mm -hmm. of Endgame. This one I thought is not only like possibly pretty early to bring Bruce Wayne back, but it also seemed like very nonchalant. It's like, you know, it's just like, oh, laid back. Oh, yeah, there he is. You know, it seemed like he's been through something so intense that it would be, I'm, he'd be like more messed up, more damaged, and it would just seem like it, there'd be more of a build up to him, his reemergence. Mm -hmm. Though we don't, you know, it's still this like question mark. So at the final page, you know, where it says next issue, it has this, you know, Bruce Wayne question mark. So yeah, it seems like it's him, but it's not actually confirmed that it's him. So I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, it could be one of those classic things where maybe they don't want to make it seem like Bruce Wayne is actually gone from the popular, you know, culture in Gotham. I can't remember mm -hmm. if they made it sound that Bruce Wayne had disappeared as well. So it could be... Um, you know, somebody else kind of taking his place and just kind of making it like Bruce Wayne's actually around still. So they didn't kind of put two and two together about Batman and Bruce Wayne being the same. Yeah, guy. that's right. So like maybe if if the whole city knows that Batman died, if Bruce Wayne also disappears, then that seems like you could connect the dots. I actually yeah. heard that about the movie The Dark Knight Rises. Mm. Uh, so when Batman flies off and supposedly, you know, sacrifices himself with the nuke. Yeah. They could have just had Bruce Wayne still continuing on as Bruce Wayne, and you could just say Batman died, but Bruce Wayne is here. So it's mm. almost like made it more suspicious that Bruce Wayne also died at the exact same time. Yeah, for sure. But uh, so yeah, we'll have to see. I think you know we'll wait a couple more issues to see what they're really doing with Bruce Wayne. Right now, I'm just kind of holding off judgment on that. Um, yeah. So what'd you make of the art wise? I mean, so we've had a long time to see Greg Capullo's take on this stuff, but what'd you think of art with the, now the new Batman and kind of getting a couple issues in with that? I love his art. I think he can really do anything with the character and do it well. And it's funny, I was looking through some old comics and I saw like one of his probably his first comics he did for Marvel back in the day. And the style looked nothing like what, with what he draws now. So obviously he's really developed his style and I think it works well for this title and even kind of the Batman fighting monster kind of effect it has as well. Yeah, I think he's good too. Uh, and I think he handles like the low-key dialogue scenes, I think he handles those well and puts in some good little moments and body mm -hmm. language touches. Yeah. And then he also does the action really well. Mm -hmm. There was one scene, uh, it was with the bat truck. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So that was kind of a cool part of this issue. Yeah. But when he summons the bat truck and the bat truck crashes into the rock stone monster, mm. the framing there I thought was a little muddled. Like I wanted to kind of be able to feel more of the physics and the spacing of how that was happening. And the way they had it framed, I feel like I couldn't really wrap my head around how that was playing out. But that's just a minor complaint of that one little scene. Uh, yeah. Overall, you know, it's still strong art, I think, through the issue. Yeah, he's kind of got a cartoony style in a way, but it really works for the book. And uh, mm -hmm. it's just a really good team. I hope they keep going for quite a while. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't expecting probably so much humor. So, that, I mean, there were some just legitimate jokes that they're sliding into these <laughs> issues. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, I, it's hard to ex expect something like that sometimes, but maybe they're trying to th make that the difference between Bruce Wayne being Batman and Jim Gordon being Batman. Jim Gordon doesn't have some major tragedy that makes him want to be Batman. He's doing it because he's a cop and it's part of his job. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's the mustache joke. I mean, I actually thought some of the jokes were pretty good. I just wasn't really expecting them from a Batman book. And but yeah, the mustache joke, the uh, real Batman, fake Batman action figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. They are kind of funny, but I just yeah, I, I don't always expect that from a Batman book. No, for sure. Um, there was a nice little nod. So we saw Duke Thomas. Uh, and he's a character that's a, kind of the central character of We Are Robin. And We Are yeah. Robin had its number one issue last month. Right. So I checked that sh- issue out. It was actually uh, exceeded my expectations. It's got a really cool art style to it. So this Duke Thomas character um, might be interesting and important going forward. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I've heard good things about the book. And he has a tie from uh, the previous story arc as well. So it's cool to see them going forward with that. Yeah. So overall, another strong issue. Um, I liked the Villain of the Week thing. I thought it was cool to have... We might be getting like a set of these Villains of the Week. So we had the Electric Guy last month, and now this month we have the Concrete and Rock Guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, And they're getting their powers from somewhere, so that's kind of the larger mystery that it's building towards. But I think it's cool uh, to maybe get a sort of uh, a nice set of villains that maybe each have a different kind of power. And when we can get done with the arc and look back on it, it might be nice to see this different range of villains that we had they were all kind of minor villains but leading towards something bigger yeah i would agree as well i hope it does lead to something bigger and if this bruce wayne thing ends up being true and there's some you know real explanation of what happened then i want to know what happened to the joker too and i don't want to wait until 20 issues down the line because Hmm. you know it seems like they really put a cap on things so i want there to be a really interesting twist to what happened yeah all right, well, we'll just have to keep on. Uh, they, Like usual, they haven't given a lot away yet, but they've planted some seeds of intrigue, so we're along for the ride. Yeah, definitely looking forward to the next issue.